Hey guys, Gregor from Personas here and welcome back to Superbooth 2025 here in Berlin, probably the capital of electronic music here in Germany. And uh, it's the convention for electronic music, synthesizers, everything in between. And we thought we'd show you how much fun it can be to use Studio One Pro together with these kind of instruments. One example for that would be the launcher. So the launcher is our attempt of breaking the linearity of the timeline where we always have to go from left to right, because sometimes you start out writing music in a jam session style, right? You're not quite sure yet where each of the parts that you're recording is gonna end up. And the great thing is now you don't have to because it's very easy to compare the baseline that you had at the very start with the lead that you had four hours later without having to move that together to the timeline. It's as easy as just clicking play on one, play on the other, and they will just sync up. Let me show you how that works. So right here, I have a rough arrangement prepared and I'm not quite sure if this is the order in which I want to have the song yet, but this is what it sounds like. It already sounds kind of coherent, but I also have a bridge part. I have a verse part. And who knows, maybe the drums from the verse fit better with the rhythm of the final section. And the only way to find out is with a non-linear looping environment like the launcher provides. So the launcher, we can open that up by clicking here. And this is like a side-by-side -side view, which can also override the entire arrangement if you want to. And what I really love about it is that it's so simple to drag your song sections onto it. And just like that, you have basically copied your entire arrangement into a looping non-linear arrangement. Now we have this arrow button here. This is extremely useful because it indicates from where each track is playing. For example, the drums, if you pay attention to the drums here, when I click the arrow so that it points to the left, these are no longer grayed out, so that indicates I'm playing from my regular timeline. But as soon as I toggle to the right, that means I'm playing from the launcher. And so now I could, for example, listen to the drums from the intro together with the bass from the bridge. And let's hear that with the paths from the final bit. And suddenly I get a new counterpoint in the chords that I didn't have before. I think that's really, really beautiful. Let's try that with the leads. Bit more punch on the drums. And this would make a really nice C part, I think, for the last chorus. And once I found something that I like, I can just right click and add a scene from the playing cells. This is my brand new scene. And now I can just recommit that back onto my timeline like so. And this is how we go back and forth from the looping environment to a linear timeline where we ultimately need to end up for the mix down. One more feature I want to show you that's really unique to the launcher is the playlist feature. So the playlist feature basically allows you just like a playlist on Spotify or Apple Music to recombine song sections in a different order and length. For example, what I can do here is I can say, let's do a radio edit of this song where we start with the intro, just like we usually do, but then we skip the pre-verse, we go straight to the verse instead, and we can also enter a different loop amount here. So we can say play the verse or loop the verse twice before continuing, and then skip the bridge, skip the first chorus, go straight to the last chorus, do that twice, and then maybe do the final bit and the outro just like in the regular version. What we now have, it's basically a drastically shortened arrangement and we can recommit that to our timeline very easily. We can just do that by clicking on this drop down arrow here and then selecting insert playlist in the song. When we do that, we can just choose replace and watch what happens here. I basically replace the entire arrangement on my regular timeline with this much shorter radio edit version that's ready for export. So as you can see, you can use the launcher in two different ways. You can recombine existing song sections or you can construct new song sections by playing parts from different sections of your arrangement in a different order. It's a very creative tool either way and hope you enjoyed it. See you on Pro.